The two types of shuttles that you might be using with a rigid heddle loom are a boat shuttle and a stick shuttle. The boat shuttle is, I love this shuttle, you just load your yarn onto the spool, load it into here, the yarn comes out the front through the slit, and you lock that in and just pull it out. This works really well for finer threads though. If I tried to load something like this 10 ply wool onto here, it wouldn't work out very well. It's just for finer threads. For everyday rigid heddle loom weaving, you would be using a stick shuttle and you probably got one or two of these with your loom when you bought it. I'm going to show you um, an easy way to load it so that the yarn comes off easily and fluid in a fluid motion. First of all, start with a slip knot. If you don't know how to make a slip knot, lay the thread over the front of your hand like this, leaving a tail. The other one sits over the back. The one that's sitting over the back, put it over your hand to full rotation so it looks like this at the back. Okay, sitting there like that. Now I'm going to put my fingers through the loop, grab the thread that's just sitting there and pull it. And there you have a slip knot. Okay, now I'm going to put the slip knot on one end of my shuttle and tighten it up. Now you could just start loading this like around and around like this from one end to another but an even better way is to just load it on one side in a figure eight and the way you do this is there's my slip knot right so it's all attached just bring it down the back bring it through one side and take it up the right hand side around this one and bring it back down the right hand side back to where you were so it's a figure eight and you're loading one side of the shuttle okay another tip for when you're loading especially if you've got a lot to load on is rather than making this hand do all the work make your wrist do the work now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this and get it in the um, camera shot but flick this wrist the wrist that's holding it can flick flick yeah and that way you can get quite quick at it and you don't have the stress on this shoulder joint here of loading it all like this which is a bit laborious and you do get sore in the shoulder so just a flick of the wrist that's holding the shuttle, flick it back and forth, and that works really well.